Hello people. Um, I have nothing too special to film today, but since it's been a very long time since my last video, I'm gonna make a, uh, some kind of an update. And as you can see, finally we got some snow. Um, it's actually, I think, around 10 centimeters, maybe even a little bit more. Uh, uh, the belly of my golf was scraping the, the snow also a little bit, but it still goes pretty well. This is very, very light, soft snow, and I like that, and the view is also pretty nice. And also, um, I have a new phone, which I'm using at the moment to film, uh, because uh, uh, or originally I was not supposed to even take uh, a video today, but here I am filming a video. And so this is the first time I'm testing this phone, which by the way, is, um, it's my first Samsung ever. Until now I have had Nokia's, but this is Samsung uh, uh, Note 3. And it is also capable of 4K video. But I still think it's quite a bit worse than, than the full HD video of my proper video camera. Okay, um, I have some light work to do today. So maybe I will show you a little bit about that too. But first I'm gonna have to uh, try to heat up my workshop because it's like minus 15 degrees Celsius, which is very cold. Okay. Okay, today's project is pretty simple. Uh, here I have a piece of uh, a bar that I actually used to test um, the, the al alignment of the headstock to the tailstock. Um, um, its OD is now around 32 millimeters. And uh, what I'm gonna make from this, uh, it's gonna be uh, two parts, one from here to here and the other from here to here. And I'm gonna weld them um, at the ends of that pipe cut to the correct length and what it's gonna be it's gonna be a weightlifting bar for all, for these weights um, and the um, idea of this bar is 28 and a half millimeters I mean uh, it's a little less than 29 and I'm gonna make around half a millimeter of uh, of slop in there, and now I'm just just roughing this this bar until here, and then I'm gonna make some big threads all the way, um, and then I'm gonna cut it, part it, and then um, make a little bit of a hole um, um, on one end so that this pipe can slide in, and then I'm just gonna weld these pieces to the center piece. And also I'm gonna make two knots with the same big thread. I'm not sure yet about which thread I'm gonna use, but uh, more about that in a minute. Uh, I guess I can show you this, uh, this roughing pass. Uh, I'm taking off um, a little over two millimeter of diameter. Um, I have no tripod again, and I'm really sorry for this, but I guess a bad video is better than no video. Speed is 630 rpm and feed is uh, 1500 per revolution. I think I should be using a little bit faster spindle speed, but it's going fine. Chips are gold. And 
by the way, the rod is uh, S355 structural steel. Struct structural steel, I mean. It's pretty soft. And by the way, it was around 3 degrees plus Celsius in here when I came in. I left the late run uh, at low spin to speed for about 15 minutes before I started using it. Not sure if it's helping at all, but at least I tried. And every time I come here, I clean and oil the ways. I really want to keep this machine well. We are approaching the mark. Okay, let's see where we're at. I have two of these Mitutoyo gauges. Uh, I mean dial calipers. This is a little bit beaten. Uh, I got this for a very good price. Uh, somebody uh, ground off the, the ID jaws, but uh, I modified these ID jaws to be used to measure the measure bores with these these um, these jaws too. Let's see what we got. We got 30 exactly, which is how much we're supposed to have. And let's see how much taper we have. We have at this end. 95 and here we have we have 80 so so there's uh, let's see yes 80 so we have a little bit of taper I guess have to have to adjust the tailstock maybe but it's not critical for this job and actually I know it is because the cut was a little heavy uh, and I have the, uh, the quill extended, extended pretty far and also I have no idea how good this, this live center is it's probably from the 60s and it's made in the Soviet Union so could have some play also but I know if I took a lighter pass it would be within a hundred or two, I would say. Okay, I made a lighter cut now, and let me show you the taper. This end, 60. Fifty-nine, fifty-eight. A little bit better, isn't it? Okay, <coughs> the, the bar is now um, at the final diameter, which is eighty-five and a half millimeters. And I was thinking about the thread, and um, I finished with, with my thinking, and the thread is pitch six millimeters, and accuracy is not accurate and also the geometry is not accurate uh, I ground a high speed steel tool bit that I'm gonna use to cut the thread uh, this is kind of a uh, I guess it should be called a modular thread like this one <coughs> a little bit like this one and uh, for the uh, for the knot I'm gonna use my internal grooving tool insert this one and it's gonna be a really sloppy thread and uh, that's actually how I want it to be so it slides freely uh, I have a set of uh, smaller weightlifting bars and actually they have such sloppy threads that I think uh, I could by hand uh, turn them turn them over even though they are like 30 millimeter. Actually, I guess they are about the same size, so it's a big thread, but it's it's so sloppy that it couldn't be any more sloppier. Okay, um, 
I have the first pass ready. I already did some testing, but this is the first, first complete run. Let's see what happens uh, for the next cuts. I'm gonna use uh, cutting oil, but not for the first one, so you can see better. Okay, this is how the thread's gonna look. I'm not gonna film anymore because uh, it seems to not have a very good autofocus, this camera. So I'm not gonna torture <laughs> you any longer. Okay, here I have two threaded parts ready to be uh, chamfered and the other side board. I think this is a pretty nice thread. Should do its job. And now I am making the knots. I'm making it out of one piece and then parting it in the middle. And again I have a six millimeter pitch and using this this insert which is a little too um, narrow so what I'm gonna do when I reach the, the depth which is one and a half millimeters. I'm getting pretty close. Uh, I'm gonna move the uh, the tool sideways so it will make the groove um, wider. Uh, actually, I think I can show you one pass. Okay, should be ready to go. Let's see. It does not take long. There is a little bit of a contact problem in the, uh, the direction switch. Forward works okay, but reverse is not so good. Again, sorry for this music. <laughs> Once again, I'm gonna let you go. I will show you the... Maybe I will show you the parting operation. Okay, here we have it. It's actually a little bit better than I thought I would get it. A little bit slow, but but it's actually pretty good, I think. Okay, now time to part this piece. Okay, ready to part now. Uh, after this operation is ready, I will have two 20 mm wide knots. It's gonna make a little bit of vibration because it's cutting the corners, but it, once it cuts all the way through, um, I mean all the way around, it will smooth out. And this is also free machining steel. It has a little bit of lead on it, so it's very easy to work with. I like it actually, but it's very soft. Feeding by hand. I'm taking it easy because uh, the piece is not not very much on the jaws. Taking it really easy.
Here we go. Let's see what we got. We have a nut. I will do some crude deburring by angle grinder. This will be for my use and this whole whole product will be for my use so no huge worries about looks. Okay, here we have it. It's about one meter long now. The threads are working perfectly and I made two of these stopper plates. Another one is here and um, I did some grinding to the nuts. No sharp edges. I guess I'm satisfied. It's about two and a half hours job. So that's the end of this project. Uh, and also end of on the end of my workshop day. But let me show you what I have here. Here I have something that might interest you. This is a 200 by 200 uh, by about 300 combined length and 180 millimeter diameter aluminum and a big piece of steel and two, two other pieces of steel. And I will soon get to work these pieces and they are actually a school project for me. I will not reveal what it is, but I might say that it will probably be pretty interesting to you and even more interesting for me. But this will have to wait for maybe about one more month. But you will hear about this sooner or later. Okay. I will say you good night and see you again. Bye.